Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. It is September 20th, uh, 2022, Tuesday evening at 7.35 p.m. And I know I'm late coming on here to do a video, but i um, been feeling a little under the weather today. You can tell I just got up from a nap. That's why my hair look all crack right now. Um, I took like a two-hour nap. I took cold medicine, and then I took a two-hour nap. So, um... <laughs> My allergies, and yes, I have asthma, um, have had for the longest time, uh, kind of gotten the better of me, fall, as much as I love it, sometimes it's not my friend, as far as, and it, it's not Brad's friend either, um, Charlie, do you mind, thank you, you're on the bed here with me, oh, don't cough at me, young man, really, really, I'll show them you. I'll show them. See, I can show them you. You look at him. Look at him right there. Charlie, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mr. Mr. Lala? And then there is Jelly Bean. you right there. Hi. And then there is, let's see, there's Nixie right there. There's a Nixie right here. Nix. She must be asleep. There she is. Hi, Miss Girl. Hi. <laughs> so, yes, I come back here. They all follow me. Anyway, so we have a touch of colds, or maybe it's just the the uh, allergies really amping up. Who knows? Anyway, so I take kind of a day off, a day just to kind of uh, you know rest and take some cold mess and. You know, so take some sinus decongestant. I'm sure you can hear it just. Uh. Anyway, enough of that. Other than that, I feel pretty good. Um. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. That's really distracting me. Do you mind? And you too. Do you mind? Johnny Bean, come here. You're not going to come here? What? Okay. Um. Other than that, I really haven't done too much. I just started another dog sweater for Jelly Bean. Let's see, I have to dig out some of my stuff here. My can of Zero Sugar Dr. Pepper, which I love. I have one a day. And you don't have to have that because everything costs a lot of money. I did want to show you guys. I did finish another sweater for Jelly Bean. She's been wearing it, of course. So, move it all out. This is it. Da, 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 da. I made it a little short, but I didn't think it's too short. Longer than the first one I made, but not as long as the second one I made. See, and I did some different patterns on this one. Um, and so, this, her little, I remembered. The armholes right away um and um to tighten up the neck a bit i just put any kind of ribbon right through here and then you know i tie it once i have it on her and then oh i i only did one of these evidently i usually tie these and then you know a knot so that they don't so they don't fray all to death um so, yeah, I've got another one. I'm, gonna, I'm starting one more for her. But I was thinking maybe I would sell those. Maybe people want to pre-order pre dog sweaters from me. You know, where you could always tell me, like, two colors that you'd like to see. And you'd have to give me the measurements of your dog. And I would give you a price. Depending on how big your dog is, of course. Um, and then... Uh, you know, you know, you would pay me for it, and then I would make it. So, so let me know what you guys think of that thing. Maybe be interested in that or not. So, uh, I think that could be interesting. I guess it could make one for a cat, too. So, you know, I'm not prejudiced. So, uh, I've just been thinking about different ways I could generate some extra income. I really don't want to have to get a, a work-at-home job if I don't have to. Not that there's anything wrong with those at all. I just, um, if I can make something here at home i would rather so the color scheme uh 
if I can get these things together, the color scheme on this next sweater is going to be this. Charlie, could you quit, please? Thank you. <laughs> and this. So, and I'm going to do more, more stripes down this time. I've just barely started, so... Uh, that's what I've got going on now. I don't know what happened to my other one. I, I dropped it. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is some more of the mini. And it'll make these little... Well, this just had little palms. But it'll make your little miniature... Um, what they call it? Aragami or something. Um animals you know i know some of you guys are really into that this says it's a weight four but just a thin weight four it's a thin weight four <laughs> you know i would say maybe a three actually i was trying to see there was a pattern inside i said there was supposed to be let's see free pattern this is this color is by um is rainbow Coax and Klein, Red Heart, of course. Yarn Inspirations. You can get free patterns at yarnspirations.com. So, okay, now we know all that. So, I'm doing that. And, hmm, there was something else I wanted to show you guys. I can't remember what it was. Uh, I know it. Rough. Rough. Look at rough. Um, I guess that's about it. I've been watching more highlights from the Queen's funeral. It really was something. It was quite a beautiful moment for me when her her bagpiper that, that she had had with her for 50 years, who played for her every morning, was was playing after they had lowered her into the vault and he was walking away. And it was just a, such a poignant moment. I'm glad that I got to watch that. Because this really is history in the making. Whether or not whatever you believe and and stuff. And, and maybe you're not into the, you know, uh, the whole monarchy and stuff. It was quite a hit. Um, a moment in history. You know, something that you'll tell your grandchildren about great-grandchildren about you know something else I still remember when Princess Diana died and uh, watching that funeral coverage and stuff and all the thousands of flowers that were thrown on the vehicles and stuff they were having to use windshield wipers and stuff because they could not see something else her brother was at the funeral Fergie was at the funeral that was kind of, it was neat. So anyway, it makes you think about your own mortality a little bit more and uh, her family and, and them being a lot more of a loving family than you would think, even though there's problems there like there is with any family. To me, that's what family is. And that's what love is. So um, We've been toying with Whether we would move back to Florida or whether we would try to get some land here and stuff. I think I brought that up. Everything is so expensive. I just... Our only hope of being able to do anything is if I can generate some income coming in. And he can too. So, looking at different possibilities on that. No one can do it. Whether it's that you're selling craft supplies, which might be an option, or you're selling finished crafts. Like I've told you guys before, I started eBay just six weeks before 9-11. And when 9-11 happened, I thought, oh, there goes, you know, there goes any, any, uh, any career I was going to have, any, any, fortitude I was going to have there in, uh, um, with eBay, and I stuck through it. Initially, I had some 
very large print flags, American flags, USA flags. And I cut those out. I had some canvas, you know, some canvas that you just not, it was, it was fabric canvas. Well, that's what ca canvas is. But anyway, so I ironed them on there and, and I, um, sold them because you could not get, remember, the USA flag for quite a while. And I did a short three day auction and I did a buy it now and people like crazy. And then I thought when Anthrax hit, I thought, oh, okay, now I'm really done for. But I stuck through it, managed, you know. I remember I'd get so thrilled every time I made enough money to pay the pay the um, phone bill myself. That's back when we still had a house phone. Or I'd be able to pay the electric bill. But I'd come home and I'm like, hey, I made enough. I could pay, I paid the electric bill or I could pay the phone bill and stuff. It was a good feeling. I do miss that feeling. I do miss that feeling so i will find my my right niche yet you know whether it's selling tutorials on candle making or sewing or something i'll find my niche yet i really need to generate another income in order for us to be able to if if we were to stay here we want to at least buy some land even if it's a half an acre and have it be ours that would be very nice uh you know have it be ours something that uh uh you know that we could plant fruit trees on and and uh have a garden on and you know a dog run and and all of that and uh so yeah it doesn't hurt to keep dreaming you know while we the pros and cons of each place one of the cons Big cons is the amount of bugs and stuff in Florida I was not a fan of. Totally not a fan of, so. We'll have to see. Everything is so expensive. It's like, yike. You know, why we let no love another sticks and bricks, I don't know about that either. So. It'll be whatever it'll be. I'm not going to get down about it. You know. You get what you get in life. And, uh, you know, while you think you don't have much, somebody else in another country or even in your town or even in your state <clears throat> would love to have what you have. I watch a lot of documentaries on homeless people and, uh, and some of the true homeless people and they, I mean, they're really down to us and they would give anything to be in our shoes. And yet we want to sit here and whine about whether we can afford this and I do the same thing or whether we can afford that or this isn't you know fair or you know we we have this physical element or that physical element and think about somebody who's homeless who had no a lot of times they have everything girlfriend could you not eat yourself who has no ID or anything because they've had it stolen from them. Think about that for a minute. If they can't carry it on them, they're probably going to have it stolen. They're not having medical care, really. Not have any guarantee they're going to get to eat that day. Or if they're going to get to eat that day, they've had to sell their body. Yeah, maybe they've made some bad choices in life and they've gotten addicted to drugs. There's a lot of people that live in fancy homes that are addicted to drugs, too. I've had family members addicted to drugs. I had an uncle who died of AIDS because he uh, was a drug addict and... And dirty needles. <laughs> Certainly had a lot of family members of alcoholics. Think about, and then you think about some countries where they would be grateful for what we throw away in food every day. 
where they would, I read this one country, but I watched a documentary a long time ago. This whole tribe, they would make these basically dirt cakes out on, on a great big high, you know, with high rock and bake them in the sun. And they would eat those because they didn't have any food and that was something to fill the bellies. Think about that. Think about fighting over a cup of rice. Or they get a small amount of rice and it's got to feed their entire family of eight. Yet we want to sit here and complain. Like I said, I'm no different. And I do get what you mean. I do get what you mean, Dave, that, you know, you complain uh, on some things because... That's is who you have to complain to, really. I have my husband to complain to. And I do. I'm no different. I'm no better. Sometimes I get disgusted with myself because I'm like, you know, you sit here any way you want to cut it, but... I could do better. I could have done better. Yet I want to complain. I want to complain that I have a roof over my head. That I have, you know, a wonderful husband. Wonderful dogs. I had a wonderful cat. I have many wonderful cats. You know, I'm safe. I'm warm. I know what I'm eating tonight. I actually get to pick and choose what I want to eat tonight. <laughs> it's not the case with a lot of people. Crime is on the rise. I have some friends that I know that have happened to take extra precautions. And that's very scary to me. And I can see it happening. And it will get worse. But yet we sit here and we complain. You know. I'm talking more about myself. How dare I complain because I would like to have. Um, a bigger home. I would like to have it on land. Um, you know. That maybe I can't afford to. Experience some of the things I see. Some of the people experience, like, um, you know, I, I would, we would love to be able to go out to eat more. We just can't afford it. It's not that it's the end-all, be-all thing, but, you know, it looked like a lot of fun. I'd love to go sit at that <coughs> restaurant that my friend Leanne and her husband were at and have a meal with them. Have called, I love calamari. Oh. And um, when Joel showed that play to calamari, oh. Mm. You know, and um, I would love to experience that. Hopefully, I do get someday we do get to go out there and visit them and visit Brad's dad and visit my friend Mary. And you know, it would be lovely. <coughs> and hear Charlie bark, you know. <coughs> have some very very scary times right now all of us everywhere Charlie, shut up. I'm doing a video <laughs> but um I just need to be more grateful for what I have you know Need to be more grateful for what I have. And, um, Kathy, I haven't received, um, a package yet. I, I don't want you to think I was ignoring you or anything, but I, I haven't received it yet. So, uh, you know, I don't know if it was supposed to be here by now or not. And I know you're busy with your daughter and stuff, so just, just enjoy your time with her. Hang on just a second. Brad? Bradley? Yes, sweetie? I'm doing a video.
That's okay. <laughs> he gets the dogs amped up because they want to be fed. That's what you hear. That's what you hear. They want their nightly food. <laughs> Jelly Bean's back here crying about it. Jelly Bean, you have to go out and tell Dad you can't cry to him back here. She's crying to you back here. My house is crazy sometimes. So anyway, I need to work better. I need to work better. I don't want to wait till November to decide to be, to have some gratitude in my life. You know, you get too transfixed on things you'd like to have instead of looking at what you really have. And I need to do better. I do. I do. I need to do better. So, one of my downfalls, I find. What are you doing? Hi. Okay. She's getting so excited. She's going to be fed now. You know, my pets have plenty of food. So, it's all good. It's all good. She's got plenty of baby wipes now. <laughs> you know. I wanted to show you guys how I buy my melatonin, by the way. I've talked to you guys before about this. I just had some come in. I buy it like this. This is the 400 count bag. But yeah, it'll last a long time. And it's 15 milligrams. And it's tablets. And it's just much cheaper, I think. Well, it used to be $15. Now it's like 20 But think about it. It's 400 tablets. Melatonin can be very expensive. So, yeah. And it helps save plastic and stuff. When you buy the bulk refills and stuff, you save your bottle. It helps save plastic overall. I bought my fabric softener recently that way. It's in, it's just in a, you know, in a cardboard box in a pouch. And, of course, it has a poor... You know, uh, one of the spouts that comes out that you'll use. Um, but it's supposed to save, uh, like, three big bottles of plastic. Trying to do my part on that. And plus, it's a little bit cheaper that way, too. I buy our uh, the dog treats, uh, the marrow bones. Um, that way, it saves on, on the plastic. And then I just save little... Containers. I think I bought these at Dollar Tree, actually. Um, and do I not have any? Oh, I do have partial marrow bone in here when it's in half. I'm talking about the marrow bones. Hang on, I'll get still enough, one out. Um, and then it, it'll last us a long time. Let me see. Let's get another bag here. Oh, yeah. So, this is... And then we kind of split them up. The marrow bones, I'm always talking to you guys about are these. You know, so they got that that hard um, dog bone, you know, dog biscuit. And then the inside is just a little softer. But they love these. You mix them in with the regular dog bone because that's cheaper. The marrow bones are cheaper overall over the soft treats. And the dog biscuits are even cheaper, so... That way we make it extend further. And the marrow bone, bones are perfect for jelly bean. Um, so yeah, that's what we do. Is, is trying to save on packaging, save on the environment, save costs. Always look in refills. If you're looking for even a refill on your vitamins and stuff, type in refills. You know, or bulk. And you'll be surprised. That's how I... Ran in. These are on Amazon. I can't remember who distributes them. This is by Ma microingredients.com, but I don't know who really distributes it. It's a certain seller, but yeah, just type in um, melatonin 15 milligram tablets, and then it is 400 count. So. This will last us for a long time between the two of us. We each save a bottle. This is my old melatonin bottle. And I just refill it. So. Right? Did you have dinner? Did you already eat? Was it so good? Yep. Now they're all done. Now it's quiet because they ate. Oh my goodness. Charlie, don't wipe your face on my bed. He comes in and he wipes his face all over my comforter. What? Was it good? Was it good? Come here. You're going to say hi to everybody? Did you have a good dinner? 
Did you have a good dinner, Miss Jelly Bean? Okay, now you're happy. Huh, you got a clean butt and you got a full tummy. So anyway, I'm going to get off here. Um, but I love you guys and I do cherish your friendship so very much. I think that's another thing we need to be very grat grateful for is our friends. Because you guys are my family. So much like my family. And I call a lot of you guys my sister. And I look up to a lot of you. Um, you know, my friend Kathy is very inspirational. She, um, I'm not going to say her exact age. She's in her 70s. She has lost a lot of weight. Um, she has overcome heart attacks. She has overcome cancer. She has overcome so much in her life. And she is just a go-getter. She is a hard-working woman. She helps out so much on the farm and stuff. And she just is... And she's improved her health so much. And she's walking so well and stuff. And she is inspirational. She really is. I tell her that all the time. I really look up to her. You know. Um, you know, my friend Leanne is, is much stronger of a, a woman than she gives herself credit for. Dynamic. In every way, my friend Kathy, she, she's, she's, her and Leanne are like my sisters, and Carol is like my frugal buddy. You know, we're always looking for ways to save money. And oh, update! Let me give you update on Instacart. This is all thanks to my husband. Okay, he was. I turned this over to him. And he started emailing them. And he was not getting anywhere. It was automatic response. Of, you know, pricing policies are not reflective of what's in the store. And you won't get the sell price. And you won't get the in-store ads. We never said that. This was the price that they had on Instacart. And, but we kept getting it. All the time. Brad kept emailing them. I had looked... Because we couldn't find a phone number. Finally, if you want to type, talk to anybody in Instacart, you type in Instacart customer service phone number. It will bring it up. If not, Brad still has the number probably. He called that. He talked with whoever. Got it resolved. They not only gave us the price difference, they gave us the entire amount, not not the entire order, but the entire order for the chicken, which was was taxed. It was like thirty one dollar for these three little packages of chicken, when it should have been seventeen. But they gave us the thirty one. We never asked for that. We just wanted the price difference. So they did make it good. It took a while. Don't give up. It probably makes a big difference on whether or not. Um, I, because I even put in, they wanted me to do a review, so I gave them one. This was before that, so that really got a little fire in their belly, because I was like, you know, I'm going to take to my social media, and, <laughs> you know, and stuff, and, and I don't like to threaten it. I don't threaten it, I'm just, you know, but um, I've seen, like, Darlene, I think it's McCod, um, she has a YouTube channel here, and she had a horrible move that makes our move look almost easy. And she been fighting with the moving company and, you know, even had put up some videos. And that's how she got some, never got a complete resolution, but she got a little bit. <coughs> so, um, uh, yeah, so it's all okay. Oh, another update real quick on the mice problem. I follow the thing about, I had, um, I used, uh, uh, the, the, the cotton wedges I had. I didn't have cotton balls, but I used the peppermint, and we put it all over the house. The house smelled like, a, it smelled like a huge tube of toothpaste for a whole night. It smelled good. But then it kind of, it kind of toned down, you know. But we have not seen any more mice activity. We haven't seen any more roaches or anything like that so they don't like that stuff so you know and that's perfectly safe for your animal so um very much i don't know about cats i have to say that i know it's safe for the dogs so is that a crooked no but sometimes they're so crooked it's like holy heck brad's 
making me fish and cabbage. cabbage. Last night, the last thing and I'll tell you real quick. Last night, we've been having trouble eating rice. You know how you eat rice and get like air trapped and then up it all comes. Well, we've both been happening with both of us. Um, even slowing it down and stuff, it just... So, I wanted to have some cauliflower rice. Also, I didn't run out the cart. And I knew we had some. So, Brad made the cauliflower rice for both of us. Um, and you do it just like regular rice. You, I mean, you, we put a little bit of butter and soy sauce on it. And then, um, made some avocados that were ripe. And then we had fish. And that was really good. So, you know, if you're looking to you know, not have all the carbs, cauliflower rice. Now, I haven't ever used it like mashed potatoes. I guess you can do that, too. I know my friend Carol does. And Carol, you have to tell me how you do that again. I can look it up, but I just like to have you tell me. <laughs> but, you know, it helps. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. He's got dinner ready. So, love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so much. And... I will talk to you guys later. See, I feel better just talking to you guys. Everybody say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye, Brad. <laughs>